What is going on everybody? Happy Thanksgiving is over. Christmas isn't here yet. What about Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Boxing Day? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo and this is the Samsung Focus S. All right, it's the Focus S from Samsung and AT&T, the first 4G Windows phone device in AT&T's lineup, except that LTE is coming already here in parts of the country. So really, when is 4G not 4G? 4G is not 4G when it's not 4G LTE, because there's already 4G LTE, even though this says 4G. Are you confused yet? So am I. But that's how fast marketing speak goes. The Focus S from Samsung and AT&T, thanks to the folks at Samsung for sending us this one to review on loan, otherwise known as the i937. This is selling right now for $99.99 on contract. A new two-year contract from AT&T, although it's been seen for as little as absolutely nothing around the web during the madness that is known as Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week even. Just saying lately, I've seen it for free online, but uh, $99.99 the official price from AT&T, which slots it in just underneath the ginormous HTC Titan. Ooh, there I am in the, in the uh, glossy reflection, what's up? Slots it in just underneath the HTC Titan, which is the most expensive, not to mention the largest displayed Windows Phone 7 device in AT&T's lineup. The 4.7 inch display on the HTC, 4.3 inches on the Focus S. Whoever would have thought that a 4.3 inch display phone would seem small, but I mean, seriously, look at it next to the Titan. Titan is ginormous. Anyway, we're not talking about the Titan, we're talking about the Focus S, and uh, here it is. Windows Phone 7.5, it's got that 4.3 inch display that I mentioned. Uh, it's a Super AMOLED Plus, capacitive touchscreen, 800 by 480, 480 by 800, 480 by 800, WVGA, because that's what Windows Phone 7 maxes out at right now. Uh, it is a thin, light phone, 8.5 millimeters thin, a little bit thinner than the Titan I just showed you, which is 9.9 millimeters. Um, and it is available now on this device. We'll take a little tour around. On the front, you've got the capacitive touchscreen, the three Windows Phone buttons, back, Windows, search. On the top, you've got a front-facing camera. Uh, this one clocks in at 1.3 megapixels. On the back, 8 megapixel main camera with flash and uh, capable of 720p HD video. And also, you've got this sticker. Not anymore. A little bit of a wiki wiki back panel there with the texture. Um, also on the back, you've got a little speaker grill. On the right spine, you've got your power lock switch and then also your dedicated camera button. On the bottom, you've got the micro USB port and the microphone. On the other side, you've got a rocker switch for volume and other sundry things. What? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, on the top, you've got your 3.5mm audio jack and then your little sticker that says Qualcomm HSPA Plus. Again, it's 4G HSPA Plus, it's not 4G LTE. It's just getting more and more confusing all the time. I said that already, sorry. And there you go. The phone itself, Windows Phone 7.5. Uh, you've got a Qualcomm processor in the device. It's a 1.4 gigahertz processor. Uh, and otherwise, you know, Windows Phone is pretty much Windows Phone. Uh, a couple of AT&T uh, extras, bloatware, if you will. You've got your Uverse Mobile and your Navigator, your AT&T Radio. Daily Briefing is a Samsung app. Uh, AT&T Family Map, My Wireless, Uverse Mobile. We showed you that was pinned to the start page. Uh, Yellow Pages Mobile. Otherwise, not too much that's different from your standard Windows Phone install. Uh, I've been using the Titan for several days now. I got that before I got the Focus S, and I've just really been enjoying it. I just, I'm, I'm a big fan of Windows Phone right now. There's some things still that it can't do, uh, some apps that aren't available yet. You know, depending on your specific needs, maybe the apps are available, maybe they're not. For me, Spotify is available. There's not an official Sonos controller, so, you know. That's kind of my big thing right now because I have a Sonos at home and I use a cell phone or an iPad to control it. Um, but, you know, a lot that it can do. I'm really enjoying the messaging, uh, really enjoying the People app. I like the way social media is integrated into the phone. Uh, the Xbox Live stuff's kind of neat. I'm not a big enough gamer to really know if it's uh, 
Lame or awesome. Uh, let's take a look at now, because that's a proprietary thing. It's a Samsung. You can see the copyright at the bottom. It's a Samsung app. Uh, oh, I've got to get Wi-Fi going. There's no SIM card in this. And so if you've never used Windows Phone before, you should definitely go back check out uh, some of the other videos and posts we've done on the recent Windows Phone 7.5 devices, uh, code name Mango. Let's go to Add a City. We're going to add Oakland. California. All right. It's a pleasant 60, clouds and sun. The news has not been updated. So it's kind of like Samsung's daily briefing on the uh, TouchWiz phones. Stocks, weather news, top tweets, there you go. But if you've never used Windows Phone, you know, it's this whole live tile system where you've got these tiles pinned to the home page or the start page, if you will. Uh, Internet Explorer, not the best mobile browser, but it works okay. Um, the phone's got an accelerometer, so you can use it in widescreen mode. And the keyboard, uh, really nice, the Windows Phone keyboard. So go to technobuffalo.com. You've got the mobile uh, version loading up right now. Pinch and zoom, all that stuff. Uh, from you know, for my money, the the web browser not quite as smooth as the one on the iPhone, uh, but but it's pretty nice. I prefer it a little bit over Android myself. Uh, you've got multitasking. You hold down the back button, and then you can go. Uh, through your, your recent applications. We can go back to the weather or to the now app there. You've got the search key which links into Bing and has uh, voice activation. So you can do voice, you know, hit the search button and voice search. Allow search voice accept. I want some Thai food. And uh, so there's web, here's local, no local results for I want some Thai food, but can we go, Thai food! What happened? Uh, maybe it's not so good. Thai food! There we go. Local? Thai food? Yeah, there we go. So boy, so boy, that's good stuff if you like fish sauce. Then you can also hold down the Windows Phone button. Find Thai food in Indianapolis. Oh, I have to hit speak first. Huh? Find Thai food in Indianapolis. Searching for Thai food in Indianapolis. Right? So, you know, tell me, Siri, I don't know. It just doesn't matter. It's got voice control, so that's cool. Uh, Jasmine Thai, Indianapolis, Indiana. There you go. We can go back. Let's we'll do it again. Open calendar. Starting calendar. That's good. Right? It's good, right? Oh, nothing on my calendar. Switch to camera mode there. I like the way the uh, the animation zoom in and out. Anyway, this is supposed to be an unboxing, not a full review of Windows Phone 7.5. But like I said, I've been having a little renaissance with it. Uh, having received the Titan, the Unlocked Titan, uh, now having the Focus S, a uh, little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. You know, it's typical Samsung versus HTC. The Samsung, kind of the plastic build, but very, very lightweight. The HTC, kind of that heavier duty aluminum construction. Um, but, you know, I'm psyched to be playing with Windows Phone 7.5. I only wish that I had uh, access to Uverse where I live to try that out. And I'm psyched for CES because I hear tell there's going to be some interesting Windows Phone related announcements uh, coming up at CES in just over a month. But for the meantime, it's not even Boxing Day yet, so let's slow down. It's the, it's the Samsung Focus S from AT&T, a Windows Phone device. Again, uh, $99.99 on contract with a two-year contract officially through AT&T, although I've seen it for as little as absolutely nothing free on contract during these crazy pre- and post-Thanksgiving sales online. So if you're interested in this phone, check it out. We'll be back. We'll have uh, some comparisons. John did an unboxing of the Titan already. 
we'll do a review of this one and some comparisons and that kind of stuff. But so far, um, digging the phone, which really is a reflection of the operating system more than anything, but I like how lightweight this is. Thanks again to the folks at Samsung and AT&T for lending us this device. Much, much more on all the new Windows Phone devices, all the new devices over on Technobuffalo.com. Don't forget to watch us on Revision 3, one, two, three times a week. See, 4G, right? That's 4. Is 4G. 3 is Revision 3. Technobuffalo is on Revision 3, three times a week. All right, I'm out of here. My name is Noah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.